What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. And um, I was watching the press conference today. Now, unless you uh, do not follow politics at all, or you've been sleeping under a rock, you're aware of the Russia collusion, delusion that took place in the beginning of President Trump's um, presidency and lasted like two or three years all the way in. Um, and the media, of course, assisted with the whole scam um, MSNBC, CNN, all of them, they was, they was all in on it. And, um, today somebody had the nerve to ask president Trump about his accusations that he tweeted out over mother's day concerning all of these new details that just dropped out, um, concerning the Obama administration and who all was involved in this. And of course, as I always said, I know that, you know, who was involved. You can't tell me that he was just sitting up there and had no idea that all of these agencies under him just went rogue and start violating civil liberties of, of, of Flynn and, and of, uh, who else? Papadopoulos and, you know, Carter Page and the rest of the whole crew, especially President Trump. Um, you can't tell me this man didn't know anything about it. And recently he decided to start becoming vocal once his name got dropped uh, concerning being part of a secret meeting with the rest of the whole cabal to get rid of Donald Trump. So, you know, that's the indicator that, uh-oh, the heat is on. Yeah, I better get out in front of this and start, you know, employing a new narrative that the rule of law is at risk and, and all that stuff. So um, his buddies in the media tried to help him out today, and uh, he gets slapped in the face from the podium by President Trump. And see, they always do it. They always set themselves up for failure when they ask stupid stuff like they're just totally unaware of what's going on. We have no idea all of these documents. We're unable to piece together this, this puzzle that is not even a hard puzzle. This ain't one of those 20, 30,000 piece puzzles that have the little pieces. This is one of those first, second grade puzzles where each piece is about that big and there's only like maybe seven pieces and you can just put it together easily. And yet the media is acting like, what, what, what are you talking about, President Trump? What do you, when you say a scandal, what, what you mean? Well, y'all helped put the scandal together. Um, but now all of a sudden they're ignorant. They're, they don't have any idea what President Trump's talking about when he says that, you know, this was the worst scandal in history and and it should have never happen, and people should be held accountable. They have no idea what he's talking about. So this guy tries to pin him down and make him tell him exactly what do you mean? And should these people you're referring to be indicted? Let's hear what President Trump says. Thank you, sir. Go ahead, Phil. Mr. President, in one of your Mother's Day tweets, you appear to accuse President Obama of the biggest political crime in American history by yeah. far. Those were now you hear that? First of all, it sounds like he got a stuffed up nose. Mr. President, uh, you know, in one of your Mother's Day tweets, uh, you appear to accuse President Obama of being involved in one of the biggest scandals in history of America. Okay, first of all, get the cotton out your nose. Did somebody break your nose? Somebody sock you in the nose and you're getting smelling salt and cotton stuck up in there? I don't understand. All right, maybe it's the mask he's wearing that he's about to pull off his face because nobody can understand what he's talking about. But nonetheless, he's, uh, he's questioning President Trump as if this is breaking news. I had no idea that this new information came out. Now, it's funny how they are very quick and diligent to put together the pieces that they feel could accuse or indict President Trump. I mean, boy, they break out the big old uh, diagram. All right, now, right here, you have Carter Page. This guy right here was connected to this person, and this person was, yeah, they, they really good at that stuff. But then they become just totally like kids. We don't know what's going on with the rest of this stuff. What are you talking about, President Trump? Are you just making this stuff up? Because we, we don't follow the real news. We make up our fake news, but we don't follow the real news. So obviously we have no idea that these new documents have just dropped out. Uh, that is pointing all the way up to the top. Let's continue. Words. What crime exactly are you accusing what President crime? Obama of committing? And do you believe the Justice Department should prosecute him? Okay. Uh, Obamagate. It's been going on for a long time. It's been going on from before I even got elected. Mm -hmm. And it's a disgrace that it happened. And if you look at what's gone on, and if you look at now all of this information that's being released, 
And from what I understand, that's only the beginning. Uh, some terrible things happened, and it should never be allowed to happen in our country again. And you'll be seeing what's going on over the next, over the coming weeks. But I, and I wish you'd write honestly about it. But unfortunately, you choose not to do so. Yeah, John, please. Uh, what is the crime exactly that uh, you're accusing him of? You know what the crime is. Now, see, this is where the guy went wrong. The guy went wrong because, see, he couldn't leave well enough alone. Now, understand, this guy's a part of the crime. His whole, his old news uh, company that he works for. All of them all participated in helping orchestrate this by not doing real journalism, by siding with a liberal narrative, by plotting and, and scheming with the DNC and all of those people who were trying to get President Trump out of there and bringing and dragging all of these liars and leakers on the shows, the networks to push these lies and propaganda. And now we get all of these documents that just drops out showing what they really thought as they were sitting behind closed doors being interviewed uh, under oath. They all were like, man, I don't know nothing about no Russia collusion. Nope. I ain't seen no evidence. Not nothing, man. Nothing. What did I say? I said nothing. Soon as they get out from under that, right over to CNN, MSNBC. I mean, uh, you know, I can't say with without a shadow of a doubt whether the president might be a Russian agent or not. I don't know. I don't know. It's up in the air. But behind closed doors, nothing, nothing. And so that is why this guy is acting dumb. And then the follow-up question is going to make Trump do what Trump do, which is slap this dude's face from the podium. He doesn't have to come from around the podium and walk down into the, the garden and slap his face. He just does it right here from the mic. Let's hear it. Here it comes. You'll hear it. It'll be like... Psh! The crime is very obvious to everybody. All you have to do is read the newspapers, except yours. Uh, John, please. Oh, oh. Yeah, Mr. President, there it is. Did there you part. hear that slap? Yeah, he said the crime is obvious. Everybody knows about it. And all you have to do is read the newspaper, except yours. Now, I'm sure this guy is sitting here like, oh, my stars. I can't believe that he would say such a thing like that because we, we report the, the non-biased, upstanding news. And somehow this guy is unable to put together with the average citizen who has some common sense and honesty can put together, which is, okay, you got all these people that were high level government officials uh, and they all behind closed doors said they had no evidence of any type of Russia collusion. Therefore, the whole thing was a hoax. It should have never continued to be investigated as if there were evidence. Not to mention pencil neck, bug eyed, Adam Crooked Shift knew this stuff and continued to push this narrative. See, I'm talking slow because they're all slow. The liberal media, they don't understand. They're going, I don't know what the problem is. I, I, what is Trump talking about again? Yeah, so y'all brought bug eyed shit on your show and all the rest of these knuckleheads that are indicted and all of this stuff. Uh, yeah, and then to mention that, why are you bringing President Obama in this? Well, because he was over the whole thing and he knew that General Flynn was being surveilled. He knew all that stuff. So now he has some questions to answer. That's all we're talking about. So if he knew about that, then he must have knew about everything else. Now, I'm able to put that together, y'all. I'm no genius. Pretty clever. Got one or two noodles up top. But I'm definitely like, not like a, what, a reporter or, you know, I mean, I'm no, you know, no lawyer or nothing like that. I'm just a concerned citizen that worry about our civil liberties and the people that have the power to lock us up or not. And when I see them abusing their power, I'm concerned. And I guess the media, uh, they can't see it. They, they lack that discernment. They lack those reasoning skills. They lack the ability to put that puzzle together. Therefore, my question is, can we really trust y'all as a news agency if you can't put this together? And I can't. I mean, hire me. I'll do a better job than this guy. I mean, it's unbelievable. I know. What are you talking about, Mr. President? Because I don't know. I will. Yeah, see. Uh -huh. Yeah. You have convenient amnesia because I'm sure throughout that three years or so, he was in the crowd of, all right, right now, the president should be indicted because obviously he's a Russian agent. So 
Um, I love the fact that President Trump still takes no prisoners when it comes to stupid media questions and their complicitness in the whole scandal itself. He does what President does uh, that President Trump does, which is slap the media in the face every time he gets a chance. Now, you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. Check me out. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. The links are below. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like their products, put Kevin in the promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. Don't forget, check. Make sure you're still notified uh, and your notifications are set to all and that you're still subscribed. Um, and we'll go from there. If you want to donate to Kevin and Kevin's Corner, there's a link below this video to do that. All right, God bless. See you next time in Kevin's Corner.